Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Super Survival Games. So this is a fantastic plugin that recreates the minigame survival games within your server. So it is free to download off of Spigot, which I know lots of you will be pleased about. And I would rate it as probably the second best survival games plugin out there. Obviously the number one is the premium one off of Spigot by WasUp. So I'll leave a link to that and the map and this plugin all in the description. So it's very, very easy to set up. Uh, I'm going to show you how, go through the config file, and obviously have a little game with my alt account. So first of all, if you SG build, this will toggle on and off the build mode, so you can make changes to the map if you want to, uh, but you don't have to do that if you download an awesome map like this. Then you can do SG config, and this is a really cool command. This gives you uh, these two items. What do they do? Well, it allows you to set all the spawns and change minimum max players times and all that good stuff uh, without going into the config file. Obviously uh, there are uh, six or so um, YML files that you can edit. We will look at those a bit later though. So first of all let's go ahead and set the join spawn which is going to be on top of this lighthouse and then we can set um, however many player spawns you want. I'm going to set four for simplicity because um, we don't really need that many. So this is going to be world one, spawn one and then obviously world one, spawn two. Set one more here, world one, spawn three. And it's really nice that they go from red to green once you, uh, you've you set them so you don't really get confused. Was that spawn three or was that four? So uh, that's really awesome. Once you've done that, you can set the deathmatch spawn. So uh, the way I would do this is uh, maybe have a separate arena or you can set it at the spawn like some servers do. So uh, deathmatch 1, uh, move along a bit, deathmatch 2, death, deathmatch 3 um, and 4. You don't have to set all those but I have. And uh, I believe that is it, amount of worlds is going to be 1. Uh, you can obviously left click that to increase it and right click it to decrease it. Then we can go actually into the config file. So I'm going to fly up here so you can see this beautiful map with uh, Seuss's shaders. Um, I finally got the shaders to work. I downloaded a different one and it, it looks amazing and there's no glitches. So let's open up this and set min players to two so we can actually have a little game. Max players is going to go all the way down to, I don't know, six. Deathmatch 4 star, um, uh, I'm going to go with uh, maybe 1 because we, we only have 2 players so let's ignore that for now. Timer lobby, uh, you can change this from 60 seconds to maybe 20, 20 there we go. Timer cooldown, so I'm going to right click this down to 30 seconds, you can change this to whatever you want. We have the timer protection, the timer restart. So. Let's go down to 30, like so. We have the timer refill, the timer of the game, so 900 seconds long, and the timer of the deathmatch. So the chests get refilled three times per game if you keep it like this, so that's kind of cool. The chest block ID is 54, leave that like that. And there's going to be a maximum of, say, 12 items in a chest. Over here, we can edit um, sort of game rules. So whether you want monsters to spawn, that'd be quite interesting. Fire to spread, lives, points under the name, false. Actually, let's set that to true. Explode block damage, false, yep. TNT auto print, uh, let's set that to false. Teams allowed, oh, that'd be quite interesting. But as there's only two of us, that would be kind of pointless. Player tracker, we're going to set that to true. And let's stop the server so it restarts and we have all of those changes so I'm going to restart the server and we're going to have a little game so we have both joined the game and it is starting in 10 seconds as you can see my other account has zero points at the moment and we have <coughs> joined the map and we are teleported to the spawns that we set so the game will start in 30 seconds and as you can see we cannot move from this spawn point we have a really really nice um, bar on the side which says open chest, your kills, tributes and spectators. So it will start in 10 seconds and we will obviously be able to run about uh, looting. I'm going to set myself in game mode 1 uh, using the console so it's a bit easier for me. Um, 
and hopefully I can find a chest. I haven't really explored this map at all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's. <laughs> that's a bit cruel. Don't don't fall down there. That's that's bad. Uh, hopefully I can spot a chest. I I don't know where they are. Surely there's one on this uh, luxury ship. Hmm. Oh, there's one. Brilliant. Uh, let's find the way in. This is a really nice map. Really, really like it. Uh, nothing in that chest. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Uh, anything in here? There we go. So in this chest, you can see uh, there is, well, that's nine items. A maximum of 12. And you can obviously put the items on and use them. Like that. That's really, really cool. And you can just play survival games like that. So it says deathmatch starts in 900 seconds, uh, unless there's one player left, which uh, we set earlier. So I'm just going to kill my opponent, um, like that, and it says LT Jim wins the game, and it will restart in a certain amount of seconds. So that is everything in-game. We're going to go into the config files now, there's quite a few of them. Uh, some of which we actually changed in game, so let's have a look now. So here we are in the Super Survival Games folder, and as you can see there are six files. If we go into the block list first, this is a list of all the blocks that players can break and place while playing, and it's really cool. Maybe they could find some glass in a chest and then build themselves a tower so they can see over a mountain or something along those lines. I don't know, you can use your imagination. But this is pretty cool, so they can obviously place TNT, um, and that will explode, maybe fire, whatever the idea of that is, you can look that up. Uh, next we need to go into the chest file, so you may remember we set these two in game, you can obviously change them in here if you wanted to, and then you can add in more items um, for players to find in chests, so obviously the ID, code on the metadata, um, and then a one, uh, and then another number. See, I'm not sure what these two values are meant to mean. I've looked on the Spigot page, there is no, no documentation on there. Um, so I, I believe it's the chance of finding it, but I would leave that alone because it's, it's fine at the moment. But hopefully the developer adds some documentation on what this actually means. It's, I don't know. It's, it's got to be chance. Got to be. So um, set that between maybe 1 and 10 and you should be okay. Um, next is the actual config, so most of this, if not all of it, was um, changed in in game using the awesome GUI, which is great. You can also change the prefix as well if you wanted to. I know that I like changing the prefix to something cool. Then we have the language file, uh, which is great. You can actually uh, add the name and author and link of the map so other players can uh, download it and use it, which is a really nice feature. So uh, I will leave the uh, map link in the description as well, so you can check that out. You can obviously fix some of the spelling errors that I found, so author. Obviously the uh, developer is not... Um, English isn't their first language, so there may be a few uh, spelling errors in here, so watch out for that. And then you can obviously change the uh, stats and hologram if you really wanted to. Then we have the MySQL, you can set up a database if you wanted to and you have all the spawn points. So that is all of the YML files. Uh, pretty easy to change most of those. Um, you can obviously download the plugin, the map, and anything else you want to in the description. Uh, so subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.